Welcome to TJ Marine, the channel where I buy classic boats and bring them back to life. Did you see my last video of the Bertram 20? It's a great boat, so check it out if you've got time and hit the subscribe button if you want to see what I do with it. But the video I wanted to make today was about my Scarab 2300 and how much this old Carby 350 V8 actually uses in petrol. I've got it listed for sale at the moment and a lot of people have been commenting, commenting that they think that it would use too much petrol but I, in my experience it really doesn't use that much gas so what i was thinking was i'll take it out for an hour out on the waterways i'll fill it out before fill it up with fuel before i leave and i'll fill it up with fuel when i get back and we'll see how much it uses i won't bore you by showing you the footage of an hour of driving around on the boat but i'll show you the highlights of brisbane waters on this here on the central coast in uh, new south wales and australia if you haven't been here before it's beautiful and um yeah we'll uh we'll, we'll see how much fuel it really uses um, my bed is no more than 20 liters per hour but we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see i've never really measured it Okay, she's full of fuel. Let's uh, get down to the ramp and get her out on the water. See how she runs and see how much fuel she drinks. Systems are go.
Well, there we have it. We covered 20 nautical miles of ground in an hour. And uh, we burnt through 32 litres of fuel. It's not too bad. If we did uh, 20 mi nautical miles an hour and uh, the tank, the underfloor tank holds 200 litres, we burn 30 litres. So effectively, we could go about 130 miles. I spent most of the time sitting on about 3,000 RPM and about 27 knots, but then there was other parts where I cruised at about seven or eight knots through slower channels and stuff like that. So evidently we had an overall average speed of uh, 20 knots, but um, we, we did a lot of cruising at 28. I think if, if you didn't run the engine at, at 3,000 RPM and you pulled it back to 2,000 RPM, you'd still be sitting on the plane at about 20 knots and I reckon you use like 30% less fuel. But in saying that, I mean, 45 bucks for 30 liters of fuel, it's not a bad deal for a day out. Personally, when I go out for, uh, I, I head out to a beach to sit out and relax or out for a fish, I'm lucky to cover 10 miles. So usually I'd, only, I'd be using half of that on a trip out. But even if you wanted to go out wide and you wanted to go a couple of hours each way and you spent four hours out on the water and you covered 80 nautical miles, you're still looking at less than 200 bucks in fuel, which for a boat this size, for a boat this safe, I reckon that's not too bad. And I'd be very surprised if an outboard was more economical. But as I get more boats, I'll keep doing these fuel comparisons and we will see the difference between a modern Mercruiser with fuel injection and an old outboard and new outboards and we'll compare them and we'll see which is thirstier but i think that 30 liters an hour mostly cruising at about 27 knots is not bad for an old carby 358 let me know what you think and uh, hit subscribe if you want to see what boats i buy again check out that bertram that i've just got thanks for watching